Christmas is for children who believe in Santa Claus and snowflakes on the window panes, stockings filled with candy canes, and puppies showing just their nose and paws. Christmas. Children who can't wait to trim the tree, and paper chains and shiny lights, jingle bells and silent nights, and special times with friends and family. Christmas is for children like me. Sure, it's been slow around here, hasn't it, Jimmy? One wheelbarrow. Yeah, everyone's getting ready for Christmas. Makes things dull around here. Mm -hmm. Wonder if we ought to close for the day. Hello? How can I help you, sir? I would like to rent a Christmas. I mean, all of your signs, all over the store, they say, we rent anything. So why not a Christmas? Why not? What kind of Christmas would you like? Well, it must start the afternoon before Christmas and last through Christmas night. All right. And there must be a beautifully decorated tree. All right. Hmm. Decorated tree. Christmas presents. Christmas carols. The works. Christmas presents. Christmas carols. The works. Hmm. There. Would that be all, sir? No. We haven't gotten to the most important things yet. Hmm. There needs to be Five children. Five children. Mm -hmm. Five children. Mm -hmm. The oldest two, a girl and a boy, are just coming home for the holidays. Home for the holidays. And a wife. Uh, a wife. Okay. Wife. Um, so you are not married? No. I'm not married. Okay. So we have a beautifully decorated tree, Christmas presents, Christmas carols, the works, a wife, five children. 
should the younger children be girls or boys? How about two girls and a boy? All right. Two girls and a boy. And I think that should do it. Although I would like to make one other request. I want this to look like a Norman Rockwell Christmas. Mm -hmm. I do. Yeah. The whole nine yards, just like it was in the early 20th century. This isn't going to be cheap. Then why don't I write a check? Would you like to borrow my pen? I would love to borrow your pen. Thank you. If you need more funds, I can make them available. Money is no object. Um, I suppose you want this Christmas delivered to your home address? I most certainly would. Here's my card. John Dale. You're John Dale. Mm -hmm. You own the big house on Walnut Street? Across from the park. Ah. Uh, I walk past your home every day on the way to work. I know. I've seen you many times. I had no idea that this was your shop, though. If you have any questions uh, about the... Uh, order here. Oh, um, let me get you a receipt. Sure, yeah. I guess you need your pen back. <laughs> Thank you. I'm at home during the evenings. My house staff is there during the day. I'll let them know you may be calling. There you go. Thank you. Miss Weston? Anne. Miss Ann Weston. It is certainly a pleasure to meet you, Miss Ann Weston. Thank you again. Good day. One Christmas as ordered. Was he serious about that order? Was he serious about that order? Oh, yeah, the order. Oh, Jimmy, why did I ever get into this business? Well, maybe he was joking. Uh, no chance. I'd say he's pretty serious. Look at this check. <sighs> well, I'd say he's serious. Mm-hmm. One Christmas tree, check. Christmas presents, no problem. Carols, sure, why not? A wife and kids. How am I supposed to pull that off? Why couldn't you have wanted a lawnmower? You got plenty of those in the back. We say we rent anything. I like challenges. We're gonna have to take care of this. How are we gonna do this? I'm gonna need some help. You need help? Yeah. He's the one that needs help. Jean Dell could probably buy anything. But he can't buy happiness. I bet that's what he's trying to do. It's a lonely person that tries to buy happiness. Mm, I don't think he's lonely, Jimmy. But I do know I'm going to fill this order. He wants a play right in his own home. Oh, that's it. I'll think it of uh, casting a play. A play where the only spectator is the main character. How can you write a script for a play like that? Uh, you can't. The actors are going to have to make it up as they go. Hmm. Imagine meeting your wife and kids for the first time. <laughs> I know what you mean. Oh, but where do I get the actors? And on Christmas Eve and on Christmas Day. Do you know how expensive that would be? Well, he did say not to worry about cost. Money is no object. Mm -hmm. I'll just have to uh, call Jimmy.
called the Actors Guild. Yeah. Actors Guild, can I help you? Hello. Yes, I would like to hire the services of some of your professional actors on Christmas Eve and all day on Christmas. She said she'd be here at 9.30 and she's already five minutes late. I wish she wouldn't come. A rented Christmas? What was Mr. Dale thinking of? Borrowed Christmas, Martha, remember? He said it's a borrowed Christmas. He also said we need to cooperate, so that's what we're gonna do. Well, she'll probably be telling me what to cook, and I'm supposed to cooperate with her? Well, I can't think about that now. Here she is. Yes? Hi, I'm Miss Weston. I called earlier. Yes, of course. Please, come in. Thank you. Are you Bridget? Uh, yes, I am, and uh, this is my sister Martha. Hey, Martha. Mm, did Mr. T Dell tell you the plans that he had? He uh, told us to cooperate with you in every way with this borrowed Christmas. Borrowed Christmas? Uh, yes, Mr. Dale thought it a bit cold to call it rented. Hmm. Well, I was hoping I could ask you a few questions about Mr. Dale, if that's all right. Uh, I suppose that would be fine. I need to know what type of Christmas he's used to. I know he wanted this vintage type of Christmas, but is that what he's usually? Uh, there's been no Christmas in this house for many years ever since Mr. Dale's parents passed away. That's the way Mr. Dale preferred it. How long have you been with Mr. Dale? We've been with the family for many years. Even back in Old Town. Old Town? Yes, even back in Riverton. That's where our family's from. Riverton? I passed through there a few years ago. What a beautiful place. You did? Mm-hmm. I'm from Fremont myself. Have you ever been there? No, we don't get back up north. Hmm. This is Mr. Dell from Riverton? Uh, he is, uh, but his father's business brought him here. Hmm. I'd like to take some notes. Do you mind if I take off my coat? Whatever you wish. Please, forgive me. Thank you. Oh, what beautiful flowers. Are they real? Yes. Really? Where in the world would you find live flowers this time of year? I grow them in my room. You do? Your room? Flowers are my hobby. Oh. My mother used to have potted plants in her kitchen window. Bridget gave me some box planters, uh -huh. so I have quite a garden. Oh, I'd like to see it. Bridget, Miss Weston said that her mother bought her some potted plants for her kitchen. Miss Weston, would you like to sit down? Yes, I would, please, thank you. I suppose you two are wondering what this is all about. Yes, we are. I'll let you in on a little secret. So am I. Last Saturday, Mr. Dell came into my shop and he simply stated, I want to rent a Christmas. Borrow. Excuse me? He wants to borrow a Christmas. All right, borrow. So we've heard. Mm. Well, I hardly know how to fill this order. Uh, what I, the part that I thought was going to be the hardest has been the easiest. He wanted to um, have a wife and five children, and so that was, that was pretty simple because I called the Actors Guild and that was fine. Um, the decorations should be easy. He wanted a Norman Rockwell painting look, and it just doesn't seem much like a, you know, a, a Christmas to me. So I wanted to personalize it. I thought we could bring some happiness into it. Mr. Dale has not been happy at all since his parents died. Yeah. Jean's right. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry, I was just, I was just thinking. Um, please tell me more. 
Okay. Um, Mr. Dale's parents were in an accident some time ago. Um, it was about this time of the year. His father was killed and his mother was essentially an invalid. Mr. Dale gave her every consideration as long as she was with us. That must have been terrible to see his mother like that. See any other family? He has a brother, Lyle. Mm -hmm. Lyle lives with his family in California. Would they be coming for Christmas? No, Miss Weston, they don't get back here very often. Hmm. Is there anyone else that's close around? Any hobbies? Just his work. He is very successful. Hmm. Uh, what about when he was a kid? He and Lyle were very close. Mm -hmm. Like two peas in a pod. Always playing. And they fished together, sometimes for the whole day. But they always made it home for supper. <laughs> they did. They did. And do you remember in the evenings, they would bring books and ask me to read aloud to them. Such sweet memories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does Mr. Dell ever get back to Riverton to see the old house and things? No, Miss Weston, that's the sad part. When they moved to here, uh, their property became part of the new high school. Huh, do you have a picture of the old house? No, Mr. Dale's father had a picture taken one spring, but I don't know where it would be. Hmm. I think Mr. Dell would like a picture if I could find one. Do you think you could? Well, it's worth a try. Um, do you know who took the picture? I believe it was Henry Terry. Um, he still has a shop in Riverton, I think. Hmm. Well, maybe he kept the negative. I'll give a call uh, tomorrow to Riverton and see what we can find out. Um, another thing, um, I arranged for the actors to come here for rehearsal on the 23rd of December. Uh, would that be all right? That would be quite all right. <laughs> all right, awesome. Um, maybe Martha, you can make some cookies for the children. Oh, right. I'd be happy to. All right. What would you like for Christmas dinner? Oh, that's your department, not mine. All, <laughs> all right. How many will be coming? Um, six, plus the family here, and you have to remember, three of them are teenagers, so cook for ten. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, is there anything else that we can help you with? Let's see, do you have any decorations? There are some in the basement, but I really don't know what's down there. Okay, well, I'll, uh, I'll check on that a little later. Um, let me see. I'm in a hurry. Could, I, could you get my coat for me? Oh, please? absolutely. All right. I'm really looking forward to seeing those flowers, maybe after rehearsal. Oh, I hope so. Okay, that would be great. Oh, thank you so much. Sure. Why don't you come with me? Yeah. We have all these children we gotta buy for, and it's for well, the play. Well, I, I. Oh, come on. Oh, go ahead, Martha. I'll go get your coat. I have some misgivings. Whatever for? Well, how do you buy gifts for children you don't even know? Well, think of it as, you know, the play, and, and we'll buy for the ages. Martha. We're Santa. No, come on. We're it's gonna... all right. It'll be all right. Just but those actor children probably have everything they need. Mm. Well, just think of, you know, buying for the play and for the ages. It's all right. It will be all right, Martha. It'll be all right. Come Just on. go and have fun. Take your time. You ready? We're gonna go shopping. Grab my purse. Miss Weston. Bridget, I got it. I got it. it. It was Mr. Derry, all right. He had the negative. You got the yeah, picture. Yeah, it came this morning, express mail. <sighs> you believe? Martha, <laughs> Martha, come here. You have to see this. <laughs> Take a look at this. Look. <gasps> oh, it's the old house, all right. Mm -hmm. 
Say more stuff. My, look at those colors. Oh, look at those lilac bushes. I know. I can almost smell them. And look, there's the old swing. I know, isn't that great? Can you imagine having the negative still after all of these years? Oh. I need to get back to work. <laughs> I've got some baking to do. <laughs> Bridget, would you do me a favor? Imagine five children. Yeah. <laughs> would you do me a favor? I will. Oh, I have a card what in do you here mean? Um, that says, to John with love. Would you wrap the picture and stick the card in it for me? I will. Yeah. And I have a surprise for you. I, I do, I do. And I'll be right back. Okay, awesome. Oh, there's a door. Is it all right? It's probably the ones I'm expecting. Oh, please okay, do. Okay, I'll get it. All right, please thank do. you. Jimmy, what a surprise. Come in here. You ought to see everything that's going on here. It's awesome. It's all coming together. Miss Weston, great. I've got bad news. What? what? Wow. Hey. Look at this place. What's the bad news? I don't know how to tell you this. What? Well, they called from the Actors Guild. And? The kids aren't coming. Why aren't they coming? Well, two of the kids have measles, and the others don't want to come by themselves. They don't really want to miss Christmas at home anyway. What about the mother? Well, that's the worst part. They haven't found anyone to play the part. Why didn't they let us let us know anything? I don't understand. Well, they said they'd keep trying. But even if we get the mother, what about the kids? Well, I could always play one of the parts. Jimmy, would you? Can you? Yeah, sure. I mean, I don't know how good of an actor I oh, am, though. Oh, you would but... be great. You're like a Robert De Niro. <laughs> you did all the plays at the orphanage, right? Yeah, but that's oh, not... You're a good actor. You're a good actor. We're going to have to change your name, though. We're going to have to change your name to Jack. You'll be the oldest son. Mm. John would like that. Huh? Yeah. Oh, John Dell, the nickname for John is Jack. And it would be kind of nice to make him feel like you're really his son. You know? Okay, fine by me. Fine. <laughs> Jimmy, I, I really appreciate that. Uh, Jack. That. Oh. Call me Jack. I really appreciate this. <laughs> Seriously, though, it's not only to help Miss Weston. You know, I just want the chance to be in a real home with a family and a real mother and father, even if it's just for one day. I understand. Uh, all the guys at school, they say, they're fighting with their dads all the time about this and that. They don't know how lucky they are to fight with their dad. <laughs> I lost my daddy at 14. You, you never told me that before. Yeah. My first job at 14, too. 14? Mm -hmm. I put um, four brothers through college. It was challenging, but worth it. Four brothers. Mm -hmm. Do you have any sisters? I do. I have a, a youngest sister, and she is. Well, she just got married out of high school, and I was really counting on using the money to go see her after the holidays. But it'd be out of the question if we don't get a mother and children. <laughs> Talk about great God. minds. Yes. Oh. Any suggestions? Jean. Oh, naturally we choose Jean. Well, she can play the part of the oldest girl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't you make don't you think it'd make you feel a little awkward or No, it'd be interesting. It'd be interesting. <laughs> well, no, who else? Well, Cynthia did a really good job in the play at the orphanage last time and uh Willie did two, so that's You're four. Genius. <laughs> well, there's a little girl in the play too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Who is that one that was um, the little one that was running around the stage when you were doing rehearsals? Uh, you mean Letty? 
She was um, she she was running around and and she got ice cream all over the curtains. <laughs> okay, yeah, you mean Letty? Yeah, ah, uh, yeah, she would be the one. Well, uh, what a, what about the other orphans though? We can't just leave them out. I I got an idea. Uh, Mr. Dale wanted carolers, so we could use them as the carolers. Everyone can help. Miss yes. Lindsay would love to do it. That would be perfect. That would be perfect. I'll have to give her a call right now. Make yourself at home, take off your coat, relax, Jimmy. I mean, Jack. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Lindsay. Well, I sounded like that went well. Uh, yeah, except the mother. Here's the surprise. Where's everybody else? Well, it's complicated. Bridget, I'd like for you to meet Jimmy. He helps me out at the shop. How do you do? Pleased to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, Jimmy. Jimmy's gonna be the oldest boy in our Christmas play. Aren't the actor people coming? Oh, it's a little complicated. Actors Guild is still trying to locate a mother. Well, what about the other children? You have all those presents. Bridget? We have children that are going to really appreciate the presents. We're getting them from the orphanage. <laughs> that is great. Martha will be so happy to hear that. She has been busy knitting scarves for all the kids. But you know, she was a little bit worried that they wouldn't need them. Hold on. Martha! Yes? The children from the Actors Guild aren't coming. What? They're not coming? No. It's the children from the orphanage. The orphanage? Yes. Yeah. <gasps> That's wonderful. <gasps> I need to start baking some cookies. Uh -huh. I'm going to make gingerbread men, <laughs> popcorn balls, snickerdoodles. Oatmeal raisin cookies. Ah, uh -huh, there's still only five, Martha. <laughs> oh, I was going to cook that many anyway. Oh, uh, well, if there's any leftover, we can just take them over to the orphanage. Oh, I'm going to make enough for the whole orphanage. Oh, I'm sure they would really, really like that. I'd love to help you if that would be all right. Yes? Yeah. Martha, uh, what was Mr. Dale's favorite cookie? Hmm. Lyle and Mr. Dale loved Raisin oatmeal cookies. I never could keep enough of those at Christmas time. <laughs> we should have some for him when he comes home tomorrow. What do you mean, we? Um, Jimmy's just a prop for the play. It's, oh. it's okay. Well, you know, Miss Weston, with you putting mm. your four brothers through school and you loving them and your sister, mm. you'd make a pretty great mother. Not me. No way. I've got lots of baking to do. Those children are coming. <laughs> Thank you, Martha. <laughs> Martha, she loves all this baking that she's doing again. Yeah. She really likes to have her hands in that flour bin. Yeah. And it reminds me of the old times. Yeah. Um, what's the surprise? Uh, can I right, see? right. <laughs> this is what I found in the attic. These are the ornaments that they used to use every year. Can I see? Sure. Look at this. Let's put this oh, look at this, Jimmy. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's so nice. Oh, wow. Oh, this is just perfect. This is special. It really is. Um, Mr. Dale's parents got it right after they were married, and every Christmas they put it on top of their tree year after year. Um, uh, Miss Weston, uh, Martha has a nativity scene that she would really like for us to put on the mantle, if it's okay with you. It, it's really turn of the century. It's great. I'll go ahead and get those out of your way for now, then. Thank you. 
Nice to meet you, Jimmy. Thank you, Miss Weston. Okay, I have so much to do. I think I'll come over here early tomorrow to help Martha. Um, we still have to put up the Christmas tree and decorate it. Do you think you could help? Yeah. All right, the kids should be here around 3.30. Oh, you know, Jean would like to help too with the tree, I bet. Oh, that would be great. Do you think you could ask her? Yeah. You know, I kind of like this. Yeah? And Jean being my sister. Uh, does it kind of cramp your style? No, not, not a bit. <laughs> no, I... no. Oh, looks like they're, looks like they're here. Princess Castle, do we get to sleep here? Sure smells good in here. <laughs> this place is amazing. Hey. Children, children. Where's Willie? Does anyone know who he belongs to? I found him in my kitchen. <laughs> Oh, thank you for bringing the children over. <laughs> what a morning. <laughs> I know, and it was on such short notice. Thank you. Well, I told the children that we were going to be here for Christmas mm -hmm. as a family, mm -hmm. but you'll have to tell them what to do. Okay, okay. First, I want you all to take your coats off and put them over here on this table. And your hats. That'll be good right there. <laughs> then come sit down on the couch, and I'm going to give you the plan. Are you ready? All right. Come on over here, Willie. Jimmy Jack, have a seat. You have had fun in plays before, haven't you? Uh-huh. Do I get to be in it? Yes, Letty. Is this going to be another play? Well, actually, kind of. I had a man come into my store the other day and say he wanted to rent, mm, borrow a Christmas. A Christmas? How can you borrow Christmas? He wants to have Christmas right here in this house, and he asked me to help him. What kind of store do you got anyway? Is he rich? A little, he is. I mean, what kind of store does someone walk into and want to borrow a holiday? What are we supposed to do? For his borrowed Christmas, he wants a tree. He wants to borrow a tree? Yes, and presents. And presents? And he wants Christmas carolers, and he wants a wife, and he wants kids. Do you want us to sing carols? Actually, no. I want the other children from the orphanage to do the caroling, but I want you to be his kids. So you mean we're supposed to act like his kids for a whole day? How do we act like kids? We are kids, Letty. Shouldn't be that tough. Well, maybe you should try to eat like a kid, Willie, for once. Yeah. Look who's talking. You eat like a horse. <laughs> Willie, you are not going to act like that in front of Mr. Dale, are you? Alice, Alice, it's okay. They need to act natural. Okay, well, if he can stand it, I guess it's okay. Okay. <laughs> and the exciting thing about it is that you all are going to be paid like professional actors. I'd like to do it for free. Why would you want to do that, Jean? Well, Jimmy said he thought Mr. Dale was lonely. I'd like to do it for him as a present. But Miss Weston said he's rich. Not all rich people are happy. A little extra money would be nice for you, wouldn't it, Jean? It would be nice just to be in a family, even if it's only for a day. I'd rather get paid. <laughs> what about you, Letty? Will we get presents like a real family? You sure do. You all will get presents as part of the play. I'd rather get paid. It's up to all of you, of course. But I do agree with Jean. Everyone is so nice to us at Christmas time. I still want the money. It's okay, Willie. It's all right. Who will be our mom? Well, we have a, a professional actor coming from the Actors Guild. But I want you to be the mom. No, not me. He does have a point. If you were there, you could tell us what to do. <laughs> He's already seen me. Well, He's seen me too. Uh, it's different, Jimmy. Oh, come on, Miss Weston. If Jean can be my sister, you can be my mom. Uh, Anne, it sounds like a good idea to me. The children do know you. 
I know, but a professional actor will know exactly what to do. And we're under contract, so until they break it, we have to stick with it. Oh. I better introduce you to Bridget and Martha. They're really, really nice. Bridget! Martha, can you come in here, please? Bridget, I want you to I want to introduce you to the kids. This is Jean, and this is Cynthia, and this is well, Mr. Dale's coming. I just saw him coming down the street. Oh, well, what do we do? Where, where, where do we go? To the kitchen. Uh, okay. Where's, Where's the, the kitchen? Oh, we're gonna let you out the back way. Oh, hurry! Oh, hurry! I didn't expect you until this afternoon. Fred is coming to pick up the gift you ordered for his wife. Oh. I told him just to meet me here. Sure. Oh, uh, so handsome. <laughs> Thank you. You're um, we're probably going to want some lunch. Would you have Martha make some soup and sandwiches, please? Oh, sure, absolutely. Yes. Something smells really good. What is Martha making? Oh, just um, some uh, Christmas cake. Here. Um, have a seat. Here, don't worry. Don't worry about anything. I'll have her take care of the sandwiches, okay? All right. Yeah. All right. I'm not worried about anything, Bridget. <laughs> Thanks. I, uh, I forgot your coat. I'm so sorry. I got it. I got it. Well, come in, sir. Come in. Come good morning, in. Bridget. Oh, good morning. Good morning, sir. Hey, sorry I'm late. Man, traffic was crazy. Thanks again, Bridget. <laughs> I just got here myself. Don't worry. So, I'm really excited about this gift. Claire is going to love it. I think Christmas is going to be epic. I believe you. I'm gonna have Christmas here, this year. Here? You? Christmas? Thanks to the local rental shop. You know, the one down on Front Street? Mm hmm So, they're in Christmases, right? Yes, sir, they are. Although, I'm calling it borrowing Christmas. You're kidding. Yeah. I'm completely serious. <laughs> Come on, renting Christmas, borrowing Christmas, okay. So there's a catch. What is it? No catch. Well, what's the punchline? It's not a joke. There's no punchline. Okay. All right. So lay it on me. Yeah, <laughs> I've got to hear it. Okay. All right. Last Saturday, I was walking down on Front Street by the rental shop, and I saw that sign that's outside that says, We rent anything. So I thought, I'm going to go in there and order me a Christmas. I know it sounds crazy, but I was just in one of those moods. And I walked in there and Miss Weston, who owns the shop, she didn't know that I was joking, I don't think. She took me seriously, so I got serious about it. And the next thing I knew, I was walking out of the store after having leaving a deposit for Christmas. <laughs> what kind of Christmas did you order? No, wait, I know. You ordered it off the value menu in there. No, sir, I didn't. I ordered the kind of Christmas that I've always wanted. A real storybook kind of a Christmas, like a Norman Rockwell painting. Like the one you and Clara share. How's that? I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe I'm, I'm kind of jealous of what you have. You know, you always seem so happy, especially around the holidays with the family and all. Uh, and isn't everybody? The ones who have families, it seems. You're not dating. You don't date. Have family? I get it. I get it. I mean, I'm not looking for a pity party. I just decided I'm going to order a family for Christmas. <laughs> a family? Mm -hmm. From the rent shop? From renting, the rent shop. Renting a family? Yes, sir. I mean, I ordered all the trimmings, a tree, 
carolers, presents, everything you can imagine. Then I specified five children, just like you and Clara. Mm -hmm. right. And a wife. Wait a minute. Uh, this is, we keep going deeper down the rabbit hole, man. So family, rent a family, and a wife. Wife, watch it, man. <laughs> no, there's no need to worry. I don't fully expect her to be able to fill this order, you know. But she did ask all the right questions. For a, for a while there, I felt like I was ordering office supplies. But she seemed confident she could pull it off. So she's going to bring a wife. She's going to bring not one kid, five kids. She's going to bring that all to you on not just any day, but a Christmas day. That's an impossibility. You know this, right? Yeah, I do know. You're probably right. Okay, so she comes in here with a bunch of decorations. She's got strangers with her and she's gonna do this thing. That's your answer? Answer? What do you mean? Man, I don't know, John. I'm not a shrink, but it seems to me like you feel like you're missing something and you think a rented Christmas is gonna fix that? A borrowed Christmas. Um, I hear what you're saying. But I'll be honest with you. If Miss Weston thinks all I want is a few decorations, then I'd rather she just forget the whole thing. <laughs> you're wearing flowered scarves now, John? <laughs> no. Where'd you get that? <laughs> it's right there. Okay. Hey, Bridget? <laughs> Bridget? Why do we get to wear this stuff? It itches. Because it's what Mr. Dale wants. I hope we get some of these. We will, but it shouldn't matter, Piggy. Just be glad you're here. So, I can't help it if I like to eat. <laughs> All right, kids. It's time for me to get the finishing touch. Um, Cynthia, will you check the door, please? Sure. Oh, yeah, it's a good idea, Willie. OK, so when Mr. Dale gets here, you come in here and tell everyone that he's here, OK? And then you go straight into the hallway. And uh, Cynthia, when Mr. Dale gets here, can you come in and take Letty, please? Yeah. Can we do look like a princess in this? Well, of course you do. Can we open presents now? No, Letty. We have to wait until morning. Jean, I think we should go, but remember, I'm Jack in this one, okay? And Letty, as soon as you see Mr. Dale, you go up to him, you say hi, and then you give him a big hug, okay? What? Say, hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Louder. Hi, Daddy. It's great. We better go. Bye. What's that? Well, that's called a manger scene. And it reminds us of a... He's coming! He's coming! Bridget, what is all this? We're doing our best to follow out her orders, sir. So that was Miss Weston's car.
is home. Tree, Daddy. I see. There are presents too, see? I get one too, but Mom says not to touch. Oh? Who, Mommy? John, darling, you're early. Wonderful. Welcome home. Yeah. But. What's your favorite oh, little raisin? Like it? Thank you. Mm -hmm. I want one. Me too. No, it'll ruin your supper. Just one, please. No, upstairs, wash your hands for supper. Cynthia, will you please take Letty? Come on, Letty. Jack and Jean called from the station. They're, they should be coming home any minute. Coming home? Mm -hmm. Yes, silly. Coming home from school, from Christmas. Here, have another bite. There you are. Oh, no raisin. Mm -hmm. I know. It's my favorite. Mm -hmm. I know. Oh, I have so much to do. <sighs> Don't eat too many. They might spoil your appetite for supper. Yes, ma'am. Jack, Jean, Letty. God, who are the others? It was Weston. Sweetheart. 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 Yes, darling. I was just wondering, is there anything I can do to help you? Dear. Oh, the tree's already decorated. Things look like they're in place. No, I don't think so, but thank you for asking, dear. <laughs> oh, I sure wish they'd hurry and get here. Yeah, me too. Your um, apron. It's coming undone. Oh, would you tie it for me, please? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. Oh, it's a little tight. Oh, sorry. I don't do this very often. <laughs> there, how's that? Oh, what'd you do? Oh, you got tight knots, huh? <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Bridget! Bridget! I believe I'm over here, sir. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Is there anything we're missing? believe so, sir. You sure? Master Jack and Miss Jean are coming! Jack! Jean! Merry Christmas, oh, Bridget! Merry Christmas, darling! Hello, Bridget. Hope we're not late for dinner. I'm starved. You are just in time. Can you smell it? The roast turkey. It <laughs> is! Yes, come in! Come in! Oh, Daddy! Hi. Jack, Jean! Hello, Hi, Mother. Sweetheart. Aww. Come home, baby. Mother. mother, it's so good to be home. Hello, Father. Hello, son. I tell you, before long, you're going to be outgrowing your old man. Well, gee, Dad, it looks like uh, I already have. <laughs> wow. 
It's good to have you home, son. A tree. Oh, mother, it's as pretty as ever. <laughs> Everything's just the same. There's even that silver star that Grandpa and Grandma Dale had when Daddy was little. I had a hard time keeping you from cutting your teeth on it. <laughs> mother. Jean, you're back! Hey, sport! Hey, Jeff, I'm glad you're home. Can we eat? I'm hungry. <laughs> Where's Letty? She's sleeping. <sighs> this is incredible. Jean! Martha! You are as sweet as always. And Jack. My, look how much you've grown. You're as handsome as your father. Oh, now, Miss Martha. I mean it. Can we please eat? I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, there's no reason to whine. There's plenty of food in the room next door. No, I wouldn't mind eating. We don't have Martha's food at college. I bet not. You two have to get washed up first. Oh, excuse us. <laughs> we'll wait on you. Do we have to? <laughs> What, do you have some kind of a hole in your stomach, Jack? I'm Willie, Dad. Oh, excuse me, <laughs> Willie. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, and I do have a hole in my stomach and a hollow leg, too. I believe it. <laughs> Why don't we go eat? Come on, let's go take care of that hollow leg. Martha, you are still the world's best cook. <laughs> Must be. You took seconds three times. <laughs> I saw that. So what are your plans for summer, Jean? Summer school? Well, if I had it my way, Daddy, I'd like to ramble about New England on my favorite horse. Majesty? Yes, Daddy, Majesty. Then we could stay for a while, someplace near the beach. How about you, Jack? Well, I have that job for six weeks as a junior counselor at the boys' camp. Um, but after that, I think, I think Jean's idea is pretty cool. Um, and I think the kids would like it, too. But, you know, Willie still talks about that fish he caught last summer. Right. Exactly. But, you know, I think the last two weeks I want to spend in Maine camping with you. Consider it done. Hey, sweetie. Daddy, can you read us the Christmas story again this year? The Christmas story? Our family tradition. I think we can. As soon as Mommy gets here, why don't you go get her? <laughs> Remember that one? Yeah? <laughs> Here, Daddy. Thank you very much. This is going to be fun. Let's see. Oh. Should we wake Letty? Oh, she's, she was really tired earlier. I think we should just let her sleep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, here it is. Here's where it starts. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town to Nazareth in Galilee, to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David. Because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes, placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. 
But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. He said, I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Glorifying and praising God for all things. Oh, listen to the carolers. Don't they sound beautiful? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Daddy, can we let them in? Yes. Let's do. Cynthia, would you please ask Martha to bring some cookies? Yes, Mommy. Thank you, baby. Merry Christmas. Would you please come in? Merry Christmas, children. Merry that Christmas. Was Christmas. Christmas. That was beautiful. That was so Thank beautiful. You. Please, please sing another. All right, how about sign night, everybody? Ready? One, two, three. Silent night. Oh. children and I have some cookies for you and we have plenty. Have a cookie. <laughs> Merry Christmas everyone. Merry Christmas. That was beautiful children. Kids we have to go now. Thank you ma'am. They sound like angels. Thank you. Maybe they are. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. God bless. God bless. Stay warm. Thank you. All right, kids, it's time for bed. No, your mother's right. Christmas comes early. Say good night. Thanks, Daddy. Good night, sweetie. Good night, everybody. Good night, sweetheart. Good night, son. I love you. Good night, sweetie. Good night, baby. Can I get a hug, too? Good night, sport. Good night. Come on, Willie. Sweet dreams. Mm. Wow. Most of the Christmas presents are wrapped, but I've saved a few for you. I'll be right back. Yes. What are we doing? Okay. We're going to wrap presents. 
First, we're going to start with this one. What is it? It's a sweater. For who? Tom. Tom? Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got Jack, Jean, Willie. Who's Tom? The paper boy. <laughs> the paper boy? Mm -hmm. He had a really thin coat on, and I guess I felt, I felt bad, so. He that needed is a very sweater. nice. Yeah. Okay, what's next? Can you guess who this is for? What is this, perfume? Mm -hmm. Martha? Mm-hmm. Mm. Lilac. Mm -hmm. Any country girl likes lilac. <laughs> Would she be willing to accept it in lieu of her usual Christmas bonus? Mm. In addition to her Christmas bonus. And... How did I know you were going to say that? Ah, and this. Don't they look beautiful? Is that for her, too? Mm-hmm. It's from us. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Huh. Mm. You think she'll like it? I know she will. Good. It'll look good on her. Okay. Who's the one running around the house all the time? That would be Bridget. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> she should like love this? them. And I got her some romance novels. Wow. Or we did. We did. Mm -hmm. We did. <laughs> Take a look at this. This is for Jack. Okay, this one's already wrapped. Mm -hmm. That <laughs> is a nice watch. Uh, the best. It's nicer than my watch. <laughs> it deserves the best. Our son does deserve the best. <laughs> Go to bed. You two go to bed. <laughs> mm. Shh. She must really be out. Mm. I'll get Letty and take her up. You finish wrapping the presents. I'll make sure the other two are in bed. Letty, Willie, Jean. To John with love. I don't even have a present for my own wife. I know just the thing. Mr. Dale, have all the children gone to bed yet? Yes. Miss Weston... It... Mrs. Dale has already taken them upstairs. Br Bridget has presents for them. Should I bring them down now? Presents? From Santa Claus. From Santa. Mr. Dale, surely you haven't forgotten about Santa since you were a little boy? No, Martha, I have not forgotten about Santa. Have Bridget bring them in. All right. Bridget, it's all right. Well, look at that. Who is the sled for? It's for Willie, sir. Ah. Uh, Willie is going to love it. Yes, sir. Bridget. I would like you to go to the safe and get the sapphire brooch, please. The sapphire brooch? Yes, please. Yes, sir. That does my heart so much good. It does mine too, Martha. Mr. Dale, I have knitted scarves for each of the children. <laughs> You're gonna spoil these kids. <laughs> Well, I also made Miss Wesson a beautiful pair of slippers. She's such a dear. Martha, if I didn't know better, I would think you were the one that rented Christmas. 
I think you mean borrowed, Mr. Dale. You see, you can't bring happiness into a house like this and not expect it to fall on all of us. Here it is, sir. Thank you, Bridget. <laughs> it's almost like the color of her eyes. Bridget, I'm afraid Miss Weston will be back. Strike that. Mrs. Dale will be back down any moment. I would like you to wrap this gift and include a card that says to my beloved Anne, love always, John. This is for Miss Weston? This is for my wife. Yes, sir. Thank you, Bridget. That's very kind of you, Mr. Dale. She's brought something into this house that hasn't been here for a long time. I need to thank her for that. I think they're down for the night, but you never know. <laughs> Mr. Dale was just like that when he was a little boy. He never wanted to go to sleep at night. <laughs> no, no, you didn't. Oh, Miss Weston, we got your guest room ready. Uh, we put it right between the two rooms that we got ready for the children, just in case you wanted to look in on them. Thank you. Thank it's them. so wonderful to have company in this house again. Well, good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night, Martha. See you in the morning. <laughs> I do not know how you figured out how to make them happy. Oh, my wife just knows I'm a natural sleuth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. No. I'm happy. You did good. Thank you. Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas, John. All right, kids. Looks like someone paid us a visit last night. Come on in with your eyes closed. No peeking. Make sure your eyes are closed. Look at the floor, Jack. <laughs> Ready? No peeking. <laughs> Don't cheat. All right. Why don't we let Mama count us down? All right, are you kids ready? Ready? Three, two, one. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas! Yay! <laughs> All right, who's is who's? <laughs> I don't know, so much fun. <laughs> Look at him in the sled. Uh -huh. <laughs> the thing, honey. Will you please go get Martha and Bridget and bring them in? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Martha. Merry Christmas, Bridget. Oh, Merry Christmas. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you for the scarf, Martha. It's beautiful. Merry Christmas, darling. Lilac. Every good country girl likes lilac. 
That's right. Here, it's my turn. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. It's so kind of you. Merry Christmas, Bridget. Well, come on, Bridget. Let's let this family have a great Christmas. This is for you and Mom. Thank you, Jean. Beautiful, Jean. Merry Christmas. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, these are only trifles. <laughs> Mom. Thank you. And Dad. Thank you, son. <laughs> Bonnets of the Portuguese. I love it. <laughs> so nice. Another book. The World's Greatest Men. You know, they should have wrote a chapter about you, Dad. <laughs> Thank you, son. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Christmas, John. Well, what do we have here? <laughs> to John with love. <laughs> it's the old house. Let me see. What is it, Daddy? A picture. It's, um, it's the house where I grew up. How did you find this? Look, there's the meadow, the orchard is right behind here. It's just like I remember it. How in the world? <laughs> is it strange that a wife knows so many things about her husband? <laughs> Mom's flower bed, <laughs> the lilac bushes. Mm -hmm. I did my homework. Perfect. I hope you like it. Jean, what's that on the mantel? Who's this for? Wait, it's for you, Mother. Oh. To my beloved Anne, I love John. You're beautiful, Miss Weston. I mean, Mommy. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. I hate to break up this little party here, but I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. Martha made waffles with powdered sugar and butter. Y'all want to go eat? Yeah? All right, come on. Let's go. I'm going to eat more than you. I'm going to eat more than you. Come on, let's go. How you doing, Jean? You enjoying your time? Yeah. Yeah. I think Mr. Dale is the best actor in the play, though. What do you mean? You should have seen him last night. He asked us what we wanted to do next summer, and he promised to take us all to the beach. The beach? Yeah. I wish it were true. I wish we could keep on like this forever. It's been fun pretending, though. I'm never going to forget this. Yeah. It's been a beautiful memory for all of us. 
What about you, Willie? What about what? What about our Christmas play? Ha! Huh, I beat you. So what? I beat you last time. You couldn't do it again. Why don't we find out? Willie? What? What about our Christmas? Did you enjoy it? It's been okay, I guess. In fact, forget about paying me for the part. You don't want the money? Nah, this has been fun. Aww. You can forget about paying me too, Miss Weston. You too? If we made Mr. Dale happy, let's just say it was our Christmas present to him. I've been so happy here. Yeah. I believe Mr. Dale's been happy as well. He and Jimmy have been out for over an hour. I thought they were just taking a little walk in the snow. So did I. But the truth is, it's probably time we start planning how we end this play. Willie? What? Are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. When Jimmy and Mr. Dell get back, I want you to get your coats on, go see Bridget, and she's gonna take you back to Mrs. Lindsay. So soon? I'm afraid so. What about the presents? Don't worry about the presents. I'll have Bridget bring them to the shop and I'll make sure they, they get to you. Willie? I'm listening. Don't forget. I won't. Can't we just stay until tomorrow? I'm afraid not. Bridget? Yes, Miss Weston? When Mr. Dell gets back, will you take the three younger children back to Mrs. Lindsay? Is it time already? Yes. We could pretend you're taking them for a walk or something. Mr. Dell doesn't need to know our little play is over yet. As you wish, Miss Weston. Thank you, Bridget. Maybe you ought to put the checkers away. Can you just play another game? No, you better do it now. Martha's been knitting almost all day. She said she was going to make something for every kid at the orphanage. <laughs> Martha's very kind. Bridget tells me that you're leaving soon. You've been so kind to us. Well, that's easy. I just don't want you to leave. You can always go visit them at the orphanage. Oh, I will. I promise. We're lucky to have you as a friend, Martha. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, gosh. How was the snow? It was cold. <laughs> it was perfect for making snowballs. <laughs> oh, Jack. What? You can't expect me to grow up all at the same time. <laughs> yeah. I threw a few myself. You did. <laughs> Good. <clears throat> Thank you, Bridget. Bridget, a few of the children want to go on that walk. Oh. Yes, Miss Weston. <sighs> Hello. Hi. What is this? <laughs> Look what I found. Jean, your mother and I really thank you for that present. It was a beautiful photograph. I'm glad, Taddy. Hasn't this been the best Christmas ever? It certainly has, daughter. Say it's my new daddy. Yeah. Miss Bridget will take you on a sleigh ride with Willie's new sled. Would you like that? Come on, buddy. Okay. okay. Bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. Bye, bye, Daddy. Bye-bye, lady. Bye, guys. Y'all have fun, okay? Well, 
I promised Joey that I would come see what he got for Christmas down the street, so I told him I'd come over for a little while. Is that okay? Sure, Dad. Jean, would you like to come? Sure. Let me get my coat. Thanks for all the presents, Dad. And everything. Thanks again for him. Such a nice Christmas, Daddy. Thank you. See you after a while. The best gift we can get is something you can rent. You won't take it back for a better one. The moments that we share, the love that takes us there, reminds us of the Father's Son. And heaven met earth in that child. God and sinners reconciled And all the angels knew It was time for the King To come and save this world So it started to Mr. Dale, now that your Christmas has been delivered, I suppose I should be going. Here is the rest of the expenses from the money that you gave me. It's a check for the balance. I can't accept payment for a wonderful Christmas that as for the brooch, I know that it had to be your mother's. It was so thoughtful of you to think of it as a Christmas prop. It was very sweet. And this has to stay in the family. Thank you once again. Wait a minute. If you can't keep it, why don't you give it to your favorite charity? Charity? Something tells me you have the perfect one in mind. Mm -hmm. The orphanage? Mm-hmm. How did you find out? I did a little sleuthing of my own. <laughs> it was Bridget. Nope. No? It was Martha. Oh. She let it slip last night. She is a dear. We had a little trouble with Letty. <laughs> we tried. Yeah. You all did fine. Thank you. I'm sure the orphanage will really appreciate this. Miss Weston. Yes? Aren't you even going to ask whether or not my little borrowed Christmas was satisfactory? I mean, as a businesswoman, I would think you might be interested to know. Was it? Are you satisfied? No, I'm not. You're not satisfied? Not at all. Oh, I am so sorry. I really don't know what to say. The truth is, Mr. Dell, that nothing in this world belongs to us. What do you mean? Everything that we have belongs to God. Oh, I know that. The moment that you stepped in my store, you asked me to give you a Christmas, and I did that exactly. 
I did that for you. I, I got you the tree, the trimmings, the children, the wife. I know. Everything. I got you the picture. That meant so much to you. When you opened, opened it up on Christmas Day, it, your, your face, it was priceless. Everything that I did was, it was for you. And it was, it was, it wasn't a Christmas. It was a Christmas, but it wasn't Christmas. Can I interrupt? Sure. And Yes. You did give me Christmas. You see, you taught me something these past couple of days. You have taught me that nothing borrowed, nothing rented is ever going to permanently satisfy. It's never going to make me happy. What's going to make me happy forever is something that I can call my very own. See, I want Christ, the spirit of Christmas, in the middle of everything that I do. And because you taught me about Christmas, I want to tell you right now a little secret. I want to adopt those children. I want to do everything in my power to try to make every one of their dreams come true. It's so wonderful. They'll be so happy and... Their prayers will be answered. I'm sure that will make you happy. Not fully. Why? Because there's something else I want in my life that I want Christ in the center of. Give me your hand. Miss Ann Weston, I am not going to be happy unless I'm with you. You are everything I've ever dreamed of, everything I've ever wanted in a wife. I want you to keep this brooch. You said just a few minutes ago, it should remain in my family. I'm giving it to you with the hope and the prayer that that's going to be the case. <laughs> Thank you, John. And I'm asking you to let me earn the right to have this Christmas forever. A family, true love, home. You, those kids, that's what's going to make me happy. Every one of you. You, Letty, Jean, Jack, Cynthia, Willie, all of you. Are you sure about Willie? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'm sure about yeah. that. Especially. Really? <laughs> Can I ask you a favor? Miss Ann Weston. Sure. May I walk you home? Oh, please. Please. I'll get my cup. Oh. Oh. John, there's something I really need to tell you before we go any further. What? Um, Jack's name isn't Jack. It's Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> you scared me for a second. Yeah? <laughs> Jimmy. Yeah. Kind of like that. You do? All right. I do. Good. <laughs> Let's get my coat. All right. <sighs> this is the most glorious Christmas of my whole life. <sighs> I need to go bake cookies for my new family.
The best gift I know is not bought or sold. You won't find it under a tree. Two thousand years ago, a father sent his boy to take on a burden for me. for us to um, when Jimmy and Mr. Dell get back when Jimmy gets back I want you on <gasps> okay I'm sorry I don't know what to do when Jimmy and Mr. Dell get back I want you kids to go and get your coats on and meet with Mrs. Lindsay And Bridget will take you back to Mrs. Lindsay. <laughs> Willie, when Jimmy and Mr. Lind... <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let me just... <clears throat> Willie, when Jimmy and Mr. Dell get back, I want you to go and get your coats on and see Mrs. Bridget to take you to Mrs. Lindsay. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. all twisting in my head. Oh my gosh, it's twisted in my head, everywhere. <laughs> Willie? Willie? Willie, when Jimmy and Mr. Lynn You won't find it under the tree